praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm uh, recording for my YouTube channel and I'm on live. Um, I'm not going to prolong the time. I'm going to go ahead and start prayer. Amen. Um, if you come on, I thank you for joining. If you see the live recording later on. I still thank you for joining. Um, join in for prayer. Amen. And pray for your families. Pray for somebody else's family. Pray for the nations. Amen. Pray for your kids. Amen. Cover your kids with the blood of Jesus. From the youngest to the oldest. Amen. Pray for other families that have been affected by tragedies. Amen. My God, my God, I'm going to be coming from, I'm going to read um, a couple of scriptures. They're not going to be long scriptures, but I'm, I am going to read um, James 5 and 16, 2 Chronicles 7 and 14, and Ephesians 6. Verses 10 through 13. Amen. And if you come in and I'm praying, just join in and, and pray. Pray for the nations. Pray for the kids. Pray for families that have lost their loved ones. We have to do this as the body of Christ. Amen. We don't always understand why things happen the way that they happen, but we have to continue to pray. And prayer changes things. And I know that when we pray, God is hearing our prayers because it could be way worse. Amen. So lift somebody else up in prayer. Lift the families that lost their kids. Lift them up in prayer. Pray for Ukraine. Pray for the United States. Pray for Texas. Pray for Africa. Pray for Afghanistan. Pray for California. New Orleans, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Zachary, Louisiana, Atlanta, amen. Pray for India. Pray for um, cities that we don't even know about that's, that's way out. Whatever city, a state, a nation that God is laying on your heart, pray for Ukraine. My God, pray for um, and, um, Las Vegas. New York City, um, North Carolina, Tennessee, Mississippi, St. Francisville, wherever you live at, pray for your nations. Pray for your cities. Pray for your neighborhood. Amen. Because prayer changes things. Amen. And I'm not going to prolong the time. I'm going to go ahead and read the chapters. Amen. Um, I'm going to start out with James 5 and 16. I'm sitting down on the floor. Amen. So let me get that. your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective favorite, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails, avails much. Confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. 
the effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Amen. And then I'm going to read 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. Second Chronicles 7 and 14. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. Amen. Prayer voice on YouTube. When I put this video up. Pray. Pray for your families. Pray for your children. Pray for the nation. And whatever city or state that God um, leads you to pray for, pray for them. Amen. So now I'm going to read Ephesians 6, 10 through 13. The whole armor of God. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having all to stand. I'm going to read that one more time. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Amen. I'm sitting down, amen, on the floor, amen, to do this prayer. Amen. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start praying. If you come in and I don't see you, I thank God for you. Amen. You too, when I put this prayer up, pray for your families. Pray for the nations. Pray for whoever God lays on your heart. Amen. Pray. And I pray that you can see me really good. And I pray that, <coughs> that you can see me on YouTube and on Instagram. Amen. Because I am sitting on the floor. Amen, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, Lord, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, Lord, from all sin and evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And Lord, Father God, I ask you to create in me a clean heart. Create in us a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit on the inside of me. Lord, Father God, I ask you to wash me and purify me, Lord, Father God. Lord, Father God, purge me with your hyssop. Wash me, Lord God, that I may be whiter than snow. Lord, Father God, 
Take out the stony heart, Lord Father God, and give me a heart of flesh, a heart for your people, Lord God, a heart to love, a heart to forgive. Lord Father God, if there be anything that's not like you that's on the inside of me, Lord Father God, purge me, Lord Father God. Clean me up, Lord Father God. Lord Father God, as I go before your people, lay the words on my tongue that you would desire for me to pray. Lay nations on our tongues. Lay people, places, and things on our tongues, the words to say, the things to pray about. Amen. And Lord Father God, we'll just be careful to give you all the glory and all the praise and all the honor because it belongs to you. And Lord Father God, we recognize who you are. You are King of Kings and you are Lord of Lords. You are Alpha. You are Omega. You are the beginning and the end of a thing and all in between. And Lord, Father God, we just lift you up and we glorify you. We magnify your holy name. And Lord, Father God, we recognize who you are. And Lord, Father God, we just give you all the glory. We give you all the praise and all the honor. It belongs to you. Lord, Father God, we glorify you on today. And Lord, Father God, we thank you for waking us up this morning. We thank you, Lord, Father God, for starting us on our way. Because so many people didn't wake up this morning. So many people have lost their lives. And Lord, Father God, we're not saying it in a selfish way. But it's a blessing to just wake up and live to see another day. Because tomorrow is not promised. And Lord Father God, I ask you to forgive me for my sins, for taking if for taking you for granted, for taking anybody else that I have took for granted. Lord Father God, I ask you to forgive me. Lord Father God, and I ask you, Lord Father God, to teach and keep on showing me how to walk in forgiveness. Lord Father God, we clean us up, clean our hearts up, touch our hearts and our minds, Lord God. Lord, Father God, if there be any evil, wicked thing that's on the inside of me, Lord, Father, purge me. Clean me up, Lord God. Lord, Father, cover our minds with the blood of Jesus. Pull down the strongholds. Pull down depression. Pull down anxiety. Pull down oppression, Lord, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Pull down schizophrenia, psychotic spirits, Lord, Father God. Demonic spirits, Lord, Father God. That just taking over people's lives. And we know it's the enemy, Lord, Father God. Lord, Father God, he's getting in the, the um, he's putting drugs and candy and whatever drugs that people are using. He's putting things in there to mess up their mind. And to make them go out and do things that they don't even realize that they are doing. It's a demonic spirit. Principalities. Spiritual wickedness in high places. That's taking over people's minds and their bodies. And Lord Father God, we do say in your word. That if your people will humble themselves and pray. And turn from their wicked ways. That you will begin to heal our land. Lord, Father God, that you will hear our prayers and that you will begin to heal our land. Because our lands need a healing, Lord, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, Father God, I ask you to touch the families today. That have lost their loved ones. The enemy came and took so many kids away on yesterday. He took grown-ups' lives on yesterday. In New York, he took so many lives. 
in Ukraine. He's taking so many lives. The war that's going on, so many lives are being lost. So many lives. And Lord Father God, a lot of times we don't know what to pray. So that's why he allows us to be filled with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Because the this, this Holy Spirit makes intercession for us. When we don't know what to pray, he will lay the words on our tongues to pray in the Holy Spirit. Now, Father God, I can't even begin to imagine what they're going through. But Lord, I just pray that you give them strength. In their time of loss. Because somebody lost their child. Somebody lost a sister, a brother, a cousin, an aunt. They lost their loved ones. And this affects all of us. The enemy went in and took those kids' lives in the school. They had no idea. The parents had no idea. He went in the grocery store, took those people's lives. Somebody lost their mother, their grandmother, their child. And they had no idea when they went in the grocery store that they wouldn't come out. Lord, Father God, I just ask you to strengthen them where they weak at and build them up where they are torn down. Lord, I cry out for the nations on today. Lord, Father God, we need you like never before. Oh, Father God, I ask you to send a host of an army of angels to fight on our behalf. Send them down like chariots of fire. Send down your army, Lord God. Lord, I ask you in the mighty name of Jesus to ask the Father to send down angels to fight on our behalf. To speak to our hearts and our minds and our souls. And to put a shield of protection around the schools. Send Michael the archangel. Send the archangels to stand at the gates of the school and the grocery stores. War in the spirit, people of God. Get in the spirit and war for your families. War for the nations. God is calling on his people to war. To come together and pray. Hallelujah. Come together as the body of Christ and pray. Pray for the nations and pray for the schools. Pray whatever God lays on your heart. Pray, people of God. Jesus asked the Father to send out the angels 
to send down with the chariots of fire and set up guards around the schools, the elementary schools, the middle schools, the high schools, the colleges. Zachary High, Zachary Elementary, the preschools, Capital Elementary, Glen Oaks, Terra High, Southern University, LSU, BRCC. I don't know all the names of the schools in Louisiana, but Lord, sit up a host of angels all around the schools in Louisiana, all around the schools, the elementary schools today, Lord God, in Louisiana, the middle schools in Louisiana, the elementary schools, the high schools, the colleges, the back, the technical colleges, BRCC, the community colleges, the cosmetology schools, the technical schools, the whatever schools there are, hallelujah, the grocery stores in Louisiana, in Mississippi, in the surrounding areas, California, Atlanta, New York City, all the parts of Texas, Louisiana, Africa, Afghanistan, California, hallelujah, Tennessee, Las Vegas, North Carolina, Woodville, Mississippi, South Carolina, we calling on you for the nations. The nations are in need of you. Jesus, tell the Father that the nations are crying out for him. Jesus, tell the tell God that we are in need of Him. Jesus, tell our Father that we are turning from our wicked ways and we are praying that He heals us because our land need a healing. The nation needs a healing. Honda Rabo see, Yanda Rabo see, Lord Father God, go into New York City. Honda Rabo see. Put guards up at the gate in the name of Jesus of every preschool, elementary school, the middle schools, the high schools, the colleges, the colleges, cover the kids with the blood, parents cover your kids with the blood, cry out for the nations, Africa, Nigeria, Honda Rabosi, Prairie Reveal, Honda Rabosi, Gonzalez, Honda Rabo, Yeriri Bosi, Hammond, Honda Rabosi, Yeriri Bosi, Yanda Rabosi, Honda Rabosi, Yeri Los Angeles, Honda Rabosi, Yeri Chicago, Honda Rabosi, Yeri Bosi, Yanda Rabosi, Yanda Rabosi, Yanda Raha, Yeri Go around the nations, the four corners of the earth, Alaska, Lord Jesus, tell the Father that we are in need of him. Go on the LSU campus, go in the hospitals, all over the world, look down on the cancer patients in St. Jude Lord Father God the babies need you cover the pregnant women with the blood your blood Jesus 
Tell God, tell the Father, Lord Jesus, tell the Father to cover the babies with the blood, to send a host of an army of angels. Ha. We calling on the angels. We calling on the angels, the archangels in the name of Jesus. Jesus, tell the Father, please, that we need him, that we are in need of him. North Carolina, South Carolina, West Carolina, Mexico, Honduraboci, all parts of Texas, Honduraboci, Yandaraboci, Yedidibosi, Yandaraboci, pray people of God, Honduraboci, Yedidibosi, Lord, look over the husbands, look over the wives, Honduraboci. Look down on the apostles, the prophets, the pastors, the teachers, the evangelists, the bishops. Lord, look down on the families that lost their little ones, their kids. I can't begin to imagine how they're feeling. But Lord, Father God, look down on the families. Hallelujah, Jesus. All around the world. Jesus, tell God we need him and we are crying out. We are crying out for the families. Hallelujah. Lord, Father God, strengthen them where they weak at. Build them up where they are torn down. Covenant with the blood, Honda Rabosi, Yanda Rabosi. Cry out for your families, cry out for the nations, cry out for the schools, cry out for the grocery stores, cry out for wherever you go. Honda Rabosi. Lord Jesus, tell God that the nations are in need of Him. Tell him to send down the angels of protection to fight on our behalf in spiritual wickedness in high places. I pray for Ukraine. I pray for Ukraine, Lord God, that you would touch them the presidents for God and they will both the war will begin to cease in the name of Jesus. The spirit is making intercession for us because well sometimes when we pray we don't know what to pray. But we have to get in the spirit and begin to let God minister to us what to pray. Lord, Father God, cover our homes with the blood of Jesus. Cover our babies with the blood of Jesus. Lord, cover my daughter, Janisha London, with the blood of Jesus. Cover my husband with the blood of Jesus. Cover my sisters and brothers with the blood of Jesus. Pastor London, Evangelist Tucker, Honda, the Rebosi. My sister Emma G, hallelujah, Jesus. My brother June, my sister Betty Jean, Diane, Honda the Rebosi. Verna D, Honda the Rebosi. My brother Jeremy, Honda the Rebosi. Honda the Rebosi. Brandon, Honda the Rebosi. On my mom's side and my daddy's side, I cover my nieces and my nephews with the blood of Jesus. Put a shield of protection around them, Lord God. Dispatch your angels all around them, Lord God. Cover me with your blood, Lord God. Order my steps. 
In your word, oh God, show me which way to go and which way not to go. Cover my home with the blood of Jesus. Lord Jesus, tell God to cover us with the blood. Cover their spouses with the blood. Cover their children with the blood. Cover our church families with the blood of Jesus. Cover whoever is watching. Cover their families with the blood of Jesus. Cover their mother, their father, their children, their sisters, their brothers with the blood of Jesus. Cover their homes with the blood of Jesus. All of their steps in your word. If the Holy Spirit tell you not to go somewhere, don't go. Follow his leading. If he tell you to pray, pray. Pray for the nations. Lord God, tell Father God that the nations are in need of him. Lord, we need your glory. We need your protection. We need your blood. Let your Holy Spirit fall upon us. Turn from your wicked ways. God say when we pray and we turn from our wicked ways that he will begin to heal our land. Father God, in the name of Jesus, our land need a healing. There's war going on. It's mass shootings, Lord Jesus, going on. Oh, y'all see. Put down the guns. see, Lord, cover their minds with the blood. Pull down the stronghold. Pull down that demonic spirit in the name of Jesus. That demonic spirit that want to see mass shootings take place. Put it down, Lord Jesus. Tell Father God to put it down in the name of Jesus. To pull down the strongholds that's in their mind, Lord Father God. We send the angels out. We send the archangels out. We send the army of angels out. See, all over the world, all in the atmosphere, in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your army angels take flight in the atmosphere. Hey, yonder the bossy, yonder that I see in the atmosphere, huh? Fighting war on our behalf, Lord God. The battle belongs to you, Honda see. We have to pray and ask God to send his angels to fight for us. This is a demonic spirit that has taken place in the only way to fight. You gonna have the war in the spirit because you can't see it. Only God can do it, but we have to ask him to fight in war on our behalf. Begin to war in the spirit. Spirit, see war in the spirit, people of God. War in the spirit, pull down the demonic forces. see because you can't see it. You have to ask Jesus to go to the Father to fight on our behalf. see Pull down mass shootings in the name of Jesus. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Don't you send out another hit on these schools in the name of Jesus. I command you. I denounce you by the power and the authority of the Holy Ghost. We command you to cease right now in the name of Jesus. We send you back to the pits of hell from which you came. In the name of Jesus, we declare war on you. And we pull it down and we chop out, we chop the head off of the man shooting right now in the name of Jesus. No more being quiet and me. War in the spirit. Pull it down. It take us to pull it down. God say we have to pull the spirit down. In the name of Jesus. Say that we command you right 
now in the name of Jesus to put it down and quit all this man shooting in the name of Jesus. And we send you, send you back to the pits of hell by the power and the authority of the Holy Ghost. I speak to that spirit right now and I sit it in the atmosphere. I send the angels out on our behalf. I send the angels out on the children's behalf because those children and the people, they did not deserve that. And we pull it down in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to war in the spirit and begin to pull that spirit down of mass shootings in the name of Jesus. Say that we come against you right now in the name of Jesus. We will not let sit back and let you have our children. And we come to war in the name of Jesus. And we pull you down right now. And I speak to that spirit in the name of Jesus. I speak to that spirit by the power and the authority of the Holy Ghost. Because we cannot see it, y'all. We have to send out the angels. We have to come together and pray and war on the people's behalf as the body of Christ. And I stand and I intercede in the name of Jesus. No more mass shootings. This year, next year, tomorrow, the next day, I pull that spirit down. That copycat demon, I put it down. That psychotic spirit, that schizophrenic spirit, I put it down in the name of Jesus. God showed me how the enemy is getting hungry and hungrier for souls. He showed me, have you ever seen the um, that picture well, with Leslie Johnson with the, the Ghostbusters and on the end part they had that big old mission of man and he got so big because he was walking around. God show me that's how Satan is walking around. Every time he gets souls, he's getting stronger and stronger. He's pulling in an army. He is bombarding the kids' minds. And God showed me how he just walking around. He's getting hungrier and hungrier for souls. Because he know his time is near. But the devil is a lie. We have to come together and pray. And we have to war for the nations. He showed it to me. I remember I had a dream just the other night where I just seen people just laying around and say, Lord, what is this? But now I see that it's the people that Satan is sending out tactics and he's using people's minds because he need a host to get in. And he's doing it in secret. He's using these drugs to alternate these people's minds where they don't even know what they're doing. It's a spirit you cannot see. You have to pray. And you have to send the spirit out. God say we have to do it. We have to unify. We have to come together. And we have to war on the people's behalf. People of God. Say that I come to pull your kingdom down. But I know I can't do it by myself. But I ask God to send a host of an army of angels in the name of Jesus to begin to go into the atmosphere and war on our behalf. Is in the sound. We have to begin to war. It's in the sound of our voices that we war and we pull the spirit down. We have to get loud because the enemy is getting louder and stronger. He's feeding off of this. And I saw the vision in my mind how he's just walking around boasting about what he is doing. But he is not stronger than God. 
That's what he want us to think. But I come today to war on the behalf of the people. And Lord, Father God, let this prayer go before you as a sweet memorial. I send it in the atmosphere, in the four corners of the earth. The north, the south, the east, and the west. Send your angels out. Lord Jesus, tell the Father to send the angels out to war. I see the chariots going out. I see the angels going out on our behalf. I see it. Can you see it? I see the angels going out word on our behalf. They're riding in chariots and they're in the atmosphere. They're waiting for us to command them to go in the name of Jesus. I command you in the name of Jesus. Chariots go to the north, the south, the hey, yeah, 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 and war on our behalf for the demons that we cannot see. Pull the demonic forces, just pull it down in the name of Jesus. <coughs> Pull it down in the name of Jesus. God is sending out the angels. He's sending out the chariots. I see white horses. I see black horses. I see red horses. I see go in the name. Go forth in the name of Jesus. Pull that Michelin demon down. I see it. It looked like a big old Michelin. It's white. And it's going around. It's boasting. God showed it to me. Pull it down in the name of Jesus. Uh, put the put a rope around it and send it and drag it back to the pits of hell from which it came. In the name of Jesus with all these mass shootings. I command you right now in the name of Jesus. By the power and the authority of the Holy Ghost. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, it's in the name of Jesus. War, people of God. War. War the Spirit. Honda the see. Put the angels at the gates of the schools. Put the angels at the elementary school. Put the angels at the, the high schools, the preschools, the grocery stores. In your homes, in the front of your homes, in your cars. All over the world. Every nation. Pull him down. Pull Satan kingdom down. I speak to that demon, that mass shooting demon. I speak to you right now. We don't know where you are, but God knows where you are. That principality, that spiritual wickedness in high places. We speak to you right now in the name of Jesus. And I command you to take your hand off of these teenagers' mind. Convincing them to go in the stores and the school to do mass shootings right now in the name of Jesus. No more. No more mass shootings in schools and grocery stores. I rebuke you right now in the name of Jesus. God know who you are. He know where you are. You are mass shooting demon and I pull you down we pull you down the prayer warriors pull you down right now in the name of Jesus and we cover every school with the blood of Jesus every college, every elementary school, every high school every middle school, every preschool every daycare Every grocery store, every street, every home with the blood of Jesus. We pull you down, you mad shooting demon, you psychotic demon, you schizophrenia demon, you mind altering demon. 
Honda the Bosey. Take your hand off of these kids' mind, convincing them to do mass shooting. And I'm speaking to you by the power and the authority of the Holy Ghost. God has given us the power to pull this demon down. He said, I give the power to you. We have to come together and pray and pull that demon down. Is by the power and the authority of the Holy Ghost. Honda Rabosi, I speak to that demon right now in the name of Jesus because God showed me you. He showed me a big old white day and it's just got, the more he do it, the, the stronger he gets. But we pull that stronghold down right now in the name of Jesus. Everybody pray for the atmosphere. Pray for a big white demon that's taking place that looked just like that, that, that made that thing that was on the Ghostbusters or whatever it was when they, when they show that big old he showed me just walking around and every time he shoot and kill people and get souls it's getting stronger and stronger and stronger pull it down we pull it down right now in the name of Jesus we pull down the strongholds in the name of Jesus sitting out in the atmosphere we pull down that mass shooting demon right now by the power and the authority of the Holy Ghost no more and we have to continue to pray with these still happen yes but we still can pray and God can change situations places and things pray people of God war on your children's behalf war for the nations because the nation is in need of God. Lord, Father God, dispatch your angels in the atmosphere. I see the chariots. I see the angels. They are riding out on their horses and they are warring with their spirit. War. 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 War in the name of Jesus because this is a demonic spirit that we cannot see. Hey, war God on our behalf. Jesus, go to the Father and tell him to send out the angels to war on our behalf. God, you said if your people will humble themselves and pray, that you will hear our prayer and you will begin to go out on our behalf and you will hear our land when we turn from our wicked ways. Lord, Father God, we ask you to hear our land. We ask you to pull down that mad shooting demon, that spirit, that demonic spirit. I declare and decree in the name of Jesus that it's out in the atmosphere. Our angels are warring on our behalf. Send Michael the archangel and his host of an army of angels to pull that demonic spirit down and send it back. Whew. To the pits of hell from which it came. I speak to the atmosphere. I speak to the nations. I speak to the four corners of the earth. The north, the south, the east, and the west. We have to pray, people of God. God said we have to pray. It's in us. We have to come together as the body. And all of it, when we begin to come together as the body of Christ, God is going to begin to heal our land. But it's a consistency. It's an everyday thing. Just like we eat every day. We have to pray every day. Do I get on live and pray every day or go on you? No, but I still pray. But we have to come together and pray. 
We have to send those angels out to the north, the south, the east, and the west. And God said, nobody coming to me except through my son. It's in the name of Jesus. We have to ask Jesus to go to the Father on our behalf. Because the Holy Spirit is intelligent. It ain't going to just bump boy. He want us to ask. And Lord Father God, I ask you in the name of your son Jesus to go into the atmosphere. Hey. Go into the north, the south, the east, the west, into the deep dark places that we have no record that we don't even know exist. Send your angels out. Send a host of an army of angels to war and go in the places that we cannot go to pull that demon down, that mass shooting demon down, that mind altering drug, pull it down in the name of Jesus. It is a demonic spirit. And God showed it to me. He showed me how it looked that it got stronger. And every time they kill and take all those souls, it's getting stronger and bigger. That's why it's called a mass shooter because he's taking people by the masses. He's taking masses of people and he's getting stronger. That demon is real. And we put it down right now in the name of Jesus because my God is stronger. And Lord Father God, we ask you in the name of your son Jesus that came and died on the cross for us. Jesus, tell Father the Father to please send a host of an army of angels in the atmosphere all over the world to pull that demon down. Pull that man shoot demon down. He's putting drugs in the candy and the kids don't even know it's in them. We cover the schools with the blood of Jesus. We cover the kids with the blood of Jesus. Enough is enough. Speak to that demonic spirit and pull it down. And he want us to think he's winning because he keep doing it when, when they pray. It are, yeah, it's going to happen. And we're going to keep praying. But we can't let up. It's praying time. You got a war in the spirit. War for your family. He's molesting the kids. He's raping the kids. He's kidnapping the kids. He's killing the kids. No more. It's enough. Enough is enough. That's why I be radical for Christ. I don't care who don't like it. Because that demon don't care. He is reaping harvest. And he do not care. But we pull that mad shooting demon down right now by the power and the authority of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, tell Father God, to fight on our behalf. Please. No more mass shootings. Send the angels out to war with that demon. Because it's, it has got to be. God showed. I saw it. In a vision. And then I dreamed. And I seen all these people just laying around. And then I seen some kind of superhero. It think it's a, it think it's a superhero. You ain't no superhero, you demonic demon. 
we pull you down and we send you back to the piss of hell where you come from. Because your time is winding up. And we pull that mad shooting demon down. We pull that python spirit down. But you trying to choke the life out of God's people. Because he know if he kill your kids and he take your loved ones, it's going to mess with your mind. Cover your kids with the blood. I did a video two weeks ago. I was sitting in a salon. And the Holy Spirit told me to come on and tell the people to pray for their kids. Sow a seed in your kids at your ministry where you go. And if you don't have a ministry, find a church to sow a seed on your kids' lives. I used to do that for Janisha when she was coming up. I prayed up. I still got prayers rolled on my wall for my daughter. Pray for your kids. Write the vision down on the wall. Pray for your kids. It's about you putting a seed in the ground. That's what it's about. If it's $10, $5, whatever you have. Pray, pray over your seed and sow it in your ministry. Return your tithes at your ministry. Don't worry about who doing what. Do it for you and your kids and your family. And God going to begin to break generational curses off of your lives. And we pull down schizophrenia spirits, suicidal spirits, demonic spirits that's taking place, uh, hosts in people's bodies. Psychotic spirits. We command them to put them guns down right now in the name of Jesus. Don't you do another mass shooting in the name of Jesus. I'm talking to you, Lucifer. I'm speaking to you by the power and the authority of, the, of, of, the, of Jesus Christ. Uh-uh. It's a, enough is enough. And I cover my home with the blood of Jesus. I cover my husband, my family, my car, the my ground. This is holy ground. This is holy ground. Pray in your home. Anoint your home so it can be holy ground. Lord, Father God, put the angels all around my home from the top to the bottom. From four, all the four corners of my home at the front door, the back door, all around. And y'all do the same. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we love you. And we need you. We are in need of you. That's why I pray in the Holy Spirit. Why? Because God make intercession for us. Because we don't know what to pray for. This is a demonic spirit. That's wreaking harvest that you cannot see. So you have to go to Jesus so he can go to the Father on your behalf and war for the nations. And I pray for every family that then lost a child, 19 kids and three adults, and then in New York City, so many people lost their lives. And it affects all of us. It affects all of us. The babies. You just going around in the store just killing people and they going out just shot minding their business. That's demonic. That is a mind altering chemical, a demonic spirit that's getting in their mind, that's taking host over their bodies. And then he using teenagers to do it. These kids ain't number 18. They still a child itself. The atmosphere. Lord, send your angels out. In the name of Jesus. In the atmosphere on today. The next year, the next year, the next year, the next year.
Send your chariots out. Send a host of an army of angels to war on our behalf. Because the nation is in need of a savior. But we have to speak it. We have to declare it. We have to speak it out of our mouth. It's in your voice. It's in your voice. It's in your prayer. It's in your war cry. War people of God. And I know this video will be getting ready to cut off because I have been on here over an hour. But war. It's time to war. It's time to war. And don't let up. Whatever you do, don't let up. Don't take your feet off of that gas. Don't let up. Pray for the nations. Pray for the atmosphere. Pray for spiritual wickedness in high places. And we have to ask in the name of Jesus. Because God said, nobody coming to me except through my son. Jesus said, I am in you and you in me. And whatsoever you ask, I will go and I will tell my father. He going to go on our behalf to the father. Pray, people of God, please. <sighs> My heart, girl, when I heard that, my heart just, and I literally saw God gave me a vision right then and there, how big that spirit had got in his boasting, and it's hungry for souls. It's hungry for souls. And he's trying to take as many people as he can. So that's why he's doing the masses. Pray for mass shootings and don't stop. Cover the schools and whatever God tell you to do. Pray for the nations. Pray people of God. Pray like never before. Lord, let this prayer go before you as a sweet memorial. Lord, I pray that we smell good in your presence. And I pray that this prayer was acceptable to you. Oh, Jesus, I pray that this prayer is acceptable to you. where well, you can take it to the Father. But it don't, yes, it do take all of this. I can't imagine what those families are going through. Pray, people of God. Pray, pray, pray. Pray in the name of Jesus. So he can take it to the Father. And he can dispatch. see the chariots going out. I see swords in their hands. They got their armor on and they are in the atmosphere on our behalf. God is going to pull that mass shooting demon down. He going to pull it down. But we have to keep praying. See it right now. I see the vision of them going out on our behalf. 
they got them when they full of armor. But all I could see is the armor and the chariots. That's what I see. White horses, black horses, red horses. And you know this in Revelations. But I see the chariots most of all. With the people with their arm on going out and fighting on our behalf in the name of Jesus. They are fighting for us. I see it. Just like he showed me that spirit. They gonna pull his kingdom down. And they gonna drag him back to the abyss from which he came. They gonna pull him down. And they gonna pull him down in the name of Jesus. He won't walk around no more like that. He done got too big. The more he did it, the more he ate, the more he killed, he got bigger. But I see God pulling him down. Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. He is worried on our behalf. I had to sit on the floor for this one. No more. He is going to pull him down. He's doing it now. As I speak. I see it deflating. And I speak in the name of Jesus. I see it deflating. Oh, thank you, Lord. You are not about to see. Hey, you are not about to see. Hey. <laughs> He's the flame of right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I pray y'all. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. He was waiting on us to ask. Lord, cover the families that lost their loved ones with the blood. But they won't lose their mind. They won't go mental. They won't have nervous breakdowns. Lord, send angels to each and every one of them home to give them the strength so they can help somebody else. Lord, strengthen each and every family. Don't leave no families out. Send angels to each and every one of them houses to set up watch over their homes and over their minds and over their cities. Yeah. I know that I both see. Jesus. Yeah, I know that I both see. I know that I both see. I know that I see. Mm. 
speaking.
and pray that God should protect each and every one of their minds and their homes, that they don't lose their mind. Because losing a loved one is tough. And they are going to need our prayers to sustain. Pull down the passes. We have to do it together. Have an ear to hear. And let your warrior come alive on the inside of you. The warrior is speaking on the inside of you. And God will even show you the type of warrior that you are. It's so real. It's so, so real. There's nothing else to be said. He is fighting for us. And he is fighting on our behalf. He is pulling that demon down as we speak, but it's not going to be easy because we have to keep praying because it's, it, it has got bigger. And every soul that he takes, he is stronger. But he is not stronger than God, but we have to ask. And that's what I'm asking Jesus to go to the Father on our behalf. We have to ask together as one body. And he is doing it. The warrior has spoken. Who is the warrior? Jesus. That lives on the inside of us. He doing it right now. So pray for the families. They can, they can sustain. That they won't turn to alcohol and drugs. And have suicidal thoughts behind losing their babies. And losing their loved ones. Pray that God sends angels around each and every one of their homes. To watch over them. To cover them in the blood. So they won't have suicidal thoughts. Or turn to alcohol and drugs. Pray for the families. And pray for your family. Pray people of God. Pray I change things. And I ain't telling nobody what I know. What I think. I'm just. what I, I can tell you what I have experienced in my life. That prayer changes people, places, and things. But we have to ask. And we have to ask in the name of Jesus. This prayer that went up before God in the name of Jesus is a sweet memorial. And he hear our prayers. He hear us. And the atmosphere is shifting. Just keep praying. And keep tearing his kingdom down. Alright y'all have a blessed day.